Good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. I'm Jennifer O'Flannery Anderson, and I have the privilege of serving as the president and CEO of the Community Foundation of Broward. And we're here to announce tonight a new fund that is being established specifically for the city of Oakland Park. And it is the very first city fund at the Community Foundation. So I think it's really appropriate that we're doing it tonight with the swearing in and with all of the mayor's comments about spirit and pride and inclusivity and really investing and taking ownership of this beautiful city, the fund that we're going to house at the Community Foundation will be another tool and asset that all of you have to access to improve your quality of life, parks, to invest in educational opportunities for kids, to maybe uh, invest in public art. The, the um, opportunities are really limitless. So I'm really happy to be a part of this tonight. I've got a few special people with me tonight. I've got two board members, our board chair, Juliet Rulak from FPNL. We love FPNL and we love Juliet. And Jonathan Allen is also here. If you guys would stand, please. <laughs> And then I'd like to ask our former chair, Steve Hudson, to please come forward. I'm going to tell you a little bit about him and his family. So the Community Foundation of Broward has been around for just about 40 years. Our purpose is really to elevate the role of philanthropy. How do we inspire all of Broward County to give, to think of themselves as a philanthropist, and to find a way to help improve our community. This is something I'm really passionate about. And how do we do it at a local level, in a city, in a neighborhood, and then across our community? And how can we be a beacon for others to really think about serving and caring about their own neighbors? So we have established, through a gift from the Hudson Family Foundation, an endowment to support the city of Oakland Park. So the idea of an endowment is kind of like your retirement plan. It's an investment, there's a, uh, an investment fund, and then it hopefully earns interest every year, right? We watch that a lot, at least I do, and we're able to grant out the interest that's earned from that investment. And so every year, every couple years, depending on what you all decide, we'll have a committee that's made up of folks from the Community Foundation and from the city. We'll take in different proposals and we'll decide how those funds will get granted out. And over time, that fund will grow. And hopefully, through the development that happens in the city, through new projects, additional developers and additional families will make contributions to that fund as well. So this is a really significant moment. It's the first, you are the first city to establish a fund that invests in your own community. And I, I, can't, I can't underscore the importance of that. And I'm so delighted that our own county mayor, Mayor Fisher, is here to kind of witness this. And hopefully he'll be able to tell others that they need to get on the ball like Oakland Park, that this is really significant for our community. And I want you to think about how lessons that you've learned in your lives, how you've helped others, and share those to be an inspiration for us as we build this fund and we think about improving the life of everybody in the city of Oakland Park. Um, I'll be here afterwards to answer questions, but what I'd like to do is just ask Steve to tell you a little bit about his family and a little bit about his love and investment here in the city of Oakland Park. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, so I am a uh, lifelong resident. I was born and raised in Broward County, and uh, I absolutely love it here. And several other people um, love it as well. You see the migration that we're having. And, and all cities uh, in Broward County and South Florida have benefited from that. And uh, you know, I truly applaud this, the uh, city commission, your commissioners and mayor, for uh, you know, the, the forward stance that you all are taking on development, smart growth. And uh, I asked the question of what that meant one time, and it, it may be somewhat nebulous, but it, it is growth that uh, both the citizens, the developers, and the municipality can get behind because it's transformative. That project right there is transformative. You know, this city, and, and please don't take offense, uh, but this city used to just be a drive-through city. Um, but you all and your predecessors have really put it on the map. And so uh, myself and our partners have now invested 
in Oakland Park. Uh, we've generally been mostly in Fort Lauderdale, Flagler Village area, Las Olas and that, um, but we're taking notice. We're taking notice of what you all are doing here uh, and the successes that can be had here. Uh, we talked about uh, housing affordability. Um, our projects are uh, at 830 Oakland Park Boulevard and 3400 uh, Andrews. So that, that parcel in particular is almost 14 acres. The opportunities to do market rate uh, rentals as well as uh, affordable housing there, uh, it, it's huge, uh, you know, depending on how many units that we can put on that property. So we see just tremendous opportunity in this city. And again, I applaud the public officials here that had the foresight uh, to take on a project like that, as well as, you know, somewhat open the door to developers and say, you know, being a developer should not be, a, you know, a dirty word. Uh, you know, smart growth, and that's what we're all about as well. So, uh, Mayor, I applaud you and the commission as well. So, uh, with that, um, I didn't bring the full checkbook, but here's the big check. I wanted to just say one thing. This was really the brainchild of Jane Bolin, our former mayor here. She... Um, so we've been working to try and schedule this, and it worked out perfect to do it tonight. I think it's the perfect way to celebrate a swearing in and announce a fund like this. But it was the one day Jane couldn't be here. So I, I didn't want the evening to pass without recognizing her for putting together her board service and her unique role here with the city and her uh, work with Steve and his family and thinking, let's try something new and let's see if this can be an example for others. So uh, please join me in thanking Jane as well. But to everyone, congratulations on your service. Thank you for letting us be a part of tonight. And please know that we're here to be part of the Oakland Park community forever, actually. So thank you.